but after our sort of different start in the new year with defeat at uh, Hendon, we went two matches where we drew, and I felt we should have got uh, maximum points from. But the last couple of games, as you say, Billowicki and uh, Kingstonians, the lads have really responded well, and um, I'm very pleased with the result and the performance. The squad certainly look hungry right now, maybe epitomised by Dwayne Clark. You, you could tell looking at his goal celebration on Tuesday night that that really had meant something to him. Yeah, no, I mean, Dwayne Clark was uh, um, a problem that he had over the festive period and it's kind of resulted through a lot of personal issues he had and to do with his work. But the difference now is that, you know, he notifies me and he lets me know. So what happened regarding, say, Tuesday, for example, he called me Tuesday lunchtime said that he struggled to get there in time for the start of the match. Um, he could just about make it. And I stressed to the players the importance of preparation. So I said to him, no problems, get there as soon as you can, but I'll put you down as a sub. In that way, that the starting eleven could be fair, know exactly what we're doing, and start the match with the right preparation. And Rocky Baptiste back among the goals. Do you think that miss of the century had left a bit of a hangover for him, or, or is that just football sometimes as a striker? I think... It happens to strikers at uh, some period in their career, especially the, you know, the goal scorers. He had a little dry spell where it seemed to last forever and ever. And I think I was more concerned than Rocky was because Rocky's confident in his ability and he knows he will, he will get goals. And at the moment, now, he's got three and three. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a good sign. And Kurt Morley, who came in for uh, the Wayne Clark Tuesday night, you know, worked incredibly hard and epitomised the hard work that my side uh, are putting into the matches and we're getting a return for it. And Tooting tomorrow at home, they've got a chance to break into the top three if they can pick up a win, but I guess if, if they take you too lightly, they might go the way of, of Kingstonian. Well, there's a thing about Tooting that they, they kind of uh, away form is a lot better than their home form. They've won twice, almost twice as many matches away from than they have at home. Whereas we won more or less twice as many matches or more matches at home than we have away from them. So something's got to give. My players are prepared and ready for it. And, you know, nothing's going to be easy, but the squad are kind of prepared and the belief is there. So uh, we go into these matches confident and going to give it our best shot.